In this video, we are going to discuss about the different types of secondary memory devices. As we discussed in our previous video, secondary memory could be fixed device or removable device. The fixed devices example, hard disk drive, CD drive, DVD drive. Removable devices could be pen drive or Blu-ray disc. Let's discuss these in a bit of a detail. This is a hard disk drive as you can see. Hard disk drive is made of circular magnetic disks which are around a spindle. Let's see the details here. It is made up of a series of circular disks called platters which are arranged one over the other half inch apart around a spindle, a central column. It is made of non-magnetic material like aluminium alloy or coated with 10 to 20 nanometer of magnetic material. The standard diameter of each disc is 14 inches. It can rotate with speeds varying from 4200 rpm to 15,000 rpm. Because some computers need very high speeds like for file servers or any other server that a network is having. So there we will use the 15,000 rpm hard disks. The data is stored by magnetizing or demagnetizing the magnetic coating. A magnetic ray is passed and then it will be stored as 1, otherwise it will be removed and that will be a 0. A magnetic reader arm is used to read data to and from the hard disk. A typical modern hard disk drive has capacity in terabytes. So this was all about the hard disk drive. Let's now come to the CD drive. CD, it stands for compact disk. They are circular disks that use optical rays. If you remember, magnetic rays were being used for hard disks. Here, optical rays are used to read and write. They are very cheap as you can get 700 MB of storage space for less than a dollar. CDs are inserted in the CD drive that is built into the CPU cabinet and they can then be taken out and used in some other system. So they are portable. There are many types of CDs. Let's look at them. CD-ROM, read-only memory. As you already know, read-only means that once something has been written, it can only be read, it cannot be changed. Compact disk, recordable. Some data has been written there already, but then you can also add something to it. So that is CD-R, CD recordable. The third is CD rewritable. So you can erase the data and then write a new piece of information there. That would be CD-RW. Now let's look at the DVD drive. What is a DVD drive? Digital video display drive. They are optical devices that store 15 times as much as data as can be stored on a CD. So that is why they are used to store rich multimedia files, audio, video, you know, you can store movies, complete movies, in fact, more than one or two movies on a single DVD. They come again in three varieties, read only, recordable and rewritable like for a CD. Let's look at the pen drive. It is a portable memory device that uses solid state memory rather than magnetic fields or lasers. Hard disks were using magnetic fields, CDs and DVDs were using optical rays. But the pen drive uses solid state memory. What does that mean? That means that it uses semiconductor chips inside it. It uses a technology similar to RAM because RAM is also made up of silicon chips. It is non-volatile again and it is also called USB drive, key drive or flash memory. Why it is called a USB drive? Because it goes into the USB port of your CPU. Last but not the least, a Blu-ray disc. What is a Blu-ray disc? It is an optical storage media that is used to store high definition video and multimedia files. It uses shorter wavelength lasers as compared to CDs and DVDs. That means it is again using optical rays to store data. Because it uses shorter wavelength optical rays, that means more and more data can be written into the same amount of space. 
So this enables writing arm to focus more tightly on the disk and hence pack in more data, more data as compared to CDs and DVDs. It can usually store up to 128 GB of data. So this was all about different types of secondary memory devices that we can use to store our data instructions. In the next video, we are going to look at the input and output ports that form an essential part of our CPU.